Mom throws her six-year-old daughter and her belongings on busy street and drives away. Mom throws her six-year-old daughter and her belongings on busy street and drives away. Patrice Chambers, the 29-year-old mother had thrown out her daughter and her belongings at a busy road in Queens. Her boyfriend called the father and asked him to pick her up and that she was crying like a little bh. The cruel mother who abandoned her daughter in the middle of a busy street in New York had threatened her dad to abandon the nine-year-old before if he didn't pay up. News of Patrice Chambers, the 29-year-old mother throwing her daughter out of her car with her belongings and then driving away with her boyfriend inside, had angered a lot of people. According to charges framed against Chambers, she had left several voice messages prior to the incident for the girl's biological father threatening to abandon her. She and her boyfriend, Mark Pamphiel, 28, are facing a number of charges of child abandonment and abuse. The charges also explicitly state the voicemails also included talks of payment for the child from the father, reports PIX11. It is unclear if she was referring to child support payments or something else. We had reported how the child named Emma was heartlessly left to fend for herself after the incident that occurred last month. The entire episode was also captured by surveillance cameras on 140th Avenue Springfield Boulevard in Laurelton. After the girl was abandoned, the footage also showed something being thrown out of the window. Court documents later highlighted these were the girl's possessions put inside two bags that were thrown outside. The girl was seen running in the street, attempting to pick up the items in the street, court documents state. Not just this, Pamphiel, had also called up the girl's father and said, you better come get your daughter. Your daughter is in the street not sleeping nowhere. She is crying like a little bee, the documents added. Queen's District Attorney Melinda Katz said during a hearing of the case on Wednesday. This mother is alleged to have abandoned her terrified youngster on a street corner with her clothes in a plastic bag and no regard for the child's safety or well-being. The defendant's boyfriend allegedly participated in the crime and had complained about her, crying like a little bh, thankfully, a good Samaritan found the youngster and took her to two school safety agents. Chambers and Pamphiel were arraigned Tuesday and faced charges of child abandonment, second-degree reckless endangerment and endangering the welfare of a child. They may be in prison for four years if they are found guilty. While they were released their next court hearing is on August 21. The person who found Emma on the street and rescued her was a woman named Mishka Pert who took her to a park. While there she informed authorities and immediately started an investigation to nab the child's guardians. Emma told Pert, they drove off and left me. Chambers and Pamphiel were caught some hours later. Chambers lied to cops and told them she had tried leaving the girl at her father, Kermit Watton's house. Watson later denied the claim although he acknowledged he had got voice messages about the same and had been expecting them at his place. As evidence, he also showed the police his doorbell video. He also said he had not seen Emma since he broke up with her mother four years ago. When Chambers was shown surveillance footage she admitted to what she had done and said she was frustrated. The child has taken by the child welfare services and is presently under their care according to the PIX11 report. We had reported about another case of abandonment where a father in Brisbane left his 22-month-old son in a park to die there. He pleaded guilty to manslaughter in a crime committed back in 2007. The toddler's mother also pleaded guilty to two counts of being an accessory to the child's manslaughter. The child's body was never found nor was the cause of his death.